Hi everyone, this is Taylor with Civil Engineering Academy and today we'll work a PE Civil Water Resources problem about extended aeration activated sludge treatment. So the problem statement says an extended aeration activated sludge treatment facility needs new aerobic sludge digesters. The facility has existing tankage that will be reused for supernatant separation and a belt filter press used to dewater digested sludge. According to TSS Wastewater Facilities 2014, if the population equivalent served by the facility is 15,000 people, the minimum aerobic digester volume required is what? So I included this little picture down here of what an aerobic um, activated sludge treatment facility kind of looks like and it's basically just an aeration basin and we got some sludge and some aerators in there so we can provide oxygen to feed the sludge and the microbes that will break down the sludge so if you don't know what the aeration basin is that's okay because for this problem we really just need to look at this spec tss 2014 make sure you have the right version of it and so if we look in that spec at section 85.3 and then the first section 85.31 and we want to look at the volume required table and if we look there, we'll see that the activated sludge, aerated activated sludge, um, requires 3.0 feet cubed per population equivalent. And we're going to use this conversion factor because if we look in the paragraph above this table, it will have specifications about this supernatant separation in the belt press, belt filter press situation. So if you don't know what supernatant separation is, that's pretty much just a clarifier. So if we draw like a quick little schematic of a wastewater treatment plant, we have the aeration basin, which is what this thing is. That goes to a secondary clarifier, so we get recycled, activated sludge going back into the aeration basin, and then we have waste activated sludge coming out, and then the clear water keeps going. So that's the separation, and then the belt filter press is what we'll use to further treat the waste activated sludge. So just put belt filter press, belt press. Um, so that's kind of a schematic of what the treatment process is described in this problem. And so knowing that information, we know to use 3.0 as our conversion factor. And then to solve this problem, we'll just multiply that straight by our people. We got 15,000 people or population equivalent. And from that, we get a volume of 45,000 feet cubed. And that is our answer. So if you need any more help studying for the PE Civil Water Resources exam, be sure to check out Civil Engineering Academy's courses and study content to be sure that you ace this test on the first try.